Hey guys, what's up? Scoundrel here, and today we're going to cover a topic that I often get asked a lot about. What is the best PUBG mobile grip? Um, it's something that is quite hard to answer because every single grip does something different, uh, and it really depends on your playstyle. But there are some grips that generally fit everything quite well, and there are some grips that are there for very specific circumstances. So we're going to talk about the two aspects of grip control. The first is automatic so which grip is the best for spraying and controlling automatic fire and then later on we're going to look at which grip is the best for long range single tap fire especially uh, we're going to look at the m4 with no attachments other than the grips and we're also going to look at the sks for single fire with no attachments other than the grips as you can see here a very basic way of assessing recoil patterns when associated with the grip is by recording yourself shooting on the practice range or against a building or something like that and then you can then go back and look at that picture you can then take a screenshot of that picture using whatever system you so choose and then you can track that recoil pattern using photoshop uh, by highlighting the dots or just tracing over them with a pencil or something like that so as you can see here this is what i did i went into the practice range of a range at about eight meters because i was a little bit closer than 10 uh, and i was just spraying up the target and I was essentially trying to gauge how much automatic fire is affected by each individual grip. Uh, and then I would go and use this particular image of each grip and try and assess the overall recoil pattern. I re I'm going to compare every single grip that's currently in PUBG Mobile as well as uh, the recoil patterns and single tap fire without the use of a grip as well. So you can see the last one I'm going to test here is the angled grip. So right now what you're watching is my testing. Overall, it is a pretty common consensus that the angled grip is the best for spray. Uh, but with the introduction of the new grips, it's good to assess which other grips also fit into this category. Because we also have the, uh, the half grip, which is also known as a pretty good grip for spray-related uh, shooting. And the way we're going to assess that is by using those spray patterns, like I said. The vertical grip is commonly used for single tap long range fire. The thumb grip is supposed to be very similar to that. The light grip is a grip that a lot of people don't really know what it's good for, but I'll talk about that later on as well. Uh, and obviously, we have no grip, which is, in most circumstances, not a good place to be. So what I did here is uh, I, I, I separated two of the patterns out because they were really close and wanted to just illustrate the fact that they uh, had very similar re recoil patterns. But we've only got two recoil patterns per grip. It does give you a slight indication. The main things that you need to be aware of, guys, is the point at which it starts and the point at which it finishes. So from the bottom to the top, the further that the spray goes up, the worse that grip is at controlling vertical recoil. So the vertical recoil is judged by the point, at the, the sort of the highest point at which you go to when you are using these spray patterns. So you can see that the worst grip for vertical recoil by quite a margin is the light grip. The light grip makes your vertical recoil very difficult to control. The next is the angled and then no grip. The thumb grip, the half grip, and the vertical grip all are pretty good at controlling vertical recoil. The horizontal recoil is the other factor that you need to consider. That is the movement from left to right. You can see that the vertical grip, whilst it controls the horizontal, so the vertical recoil very well, the horizontal recoil zigzags all over the place. Whereas the angled grip, it is more to a straight line going upwards. You can also see the same with the thumb grip and the half grip. I wanted to assess a little bit more data here. So I did the same thing with all of the grips on the M4 again. Uh, and then essentially, I'm going to overlay these recoil patterns on the ones that I've already got. And it will give us a good, really sort of, well, moderately thorough overview as to what is good in terms of, of grips. From that very first one, though, that we can start to see is that the angled and the half grip look like they are shaping up to be the better of the two grips in terms of spray control. And this is the common consensus among, among PUBG players anyway, but it's good to have that evidence on paper. It's looking like the light grip and the no grip are worse. In fact, the light grip looks worse than having no grip, which is really interesting, something that you should consider. So as you can see, just based on, uh, on these overlays here, the thumb grip sprays very heavily from left to right. The recoil patterns are a bit all over the place, but the vertical recoil is moderately easy to control. The horizontal recoil does snake very heavily from left to right on the vertical grip, but it has good, good control of the vertical recoil. The light grip is all over the place. The light grip goes very far up, left to right, actually is almost worse than the no grip. The only thing the light grip is better at than having no grip is controlling horizontal recoil. 
as you can see from this pattern both the horizontal and the half grip are the best grips for spray patterns but they differ in two very distinct ways the angled grip or the horizontal grip is the grip that allows you to control your horizontal recoil the most and i put a little arrow to suggest that it is smaller in terms of spray pattern on the horizontal axis than the half uh, the half grip however the vertical recoil is larger the opposite is of the half grip the vertical recoil is smaller but the horizontal recoil is a bit all over the place horizontal recoil is harder to control than vertical recoil so i'd say for most circumstances the angle grip remains the superior grip for spraying and automatic fire as you can see we've moved on to the next experiment using an sks and single tap fire mode i compare every single grip in a format that's very similar to the way that wacky jackie does it although not quite as diligent as he does he's far better than i am what i do is i fire at a target always aiming for the same spot so you can see in these targets i'm aiming for the very center letter in the middle of the the target i then go back in slow motion and review the footage i look at the highest point that the reticle gets to which is called the maximum re maximum reticle height and that's from the initial kick i then look at the point at which the reticle rests after recoil the maximum height is marked with a horizontal line and the resting point is marked with a single dot the large dot in the middle of the diagrams that you see on the left hand side is just to show you where i'm aiming so that is the point of origin of the reticle what's the point of doing this well the reticle position gives us a good idea how well vertical recoil is controlled with individual grips and and obviously when you're single tap firing the only recoil that you need to be concerned about is vertical there is a small amount of horizontal recoil to take into consideration and we will talk about that when we go to the comparisons and the diagrams but overall vertical recoil is going to be your main kicker when it comes to single tap fire you notice that I just used the light grip just before this angled grip. A lot of people have complaints about the light grip. They don't think it's that good. They don't really know what it's good for. What the light grip does do over every other grip is reduces the recoil recovery time, which makes it very easy to reposition your reticle after you've taken a shot. You might end up further away from where you want to shoot, but you have the ability to reposition much quicker, which makes single tap firing very, very quick for people who are constantly accurate with their reticle, making the light grip a decent choice if you're trying to spam single shots on a moving target especially. So that would be my advice for the light grip. Let's have a look at all of them side by side now. And you can see that if we go through them individually, the thumb grip shows us that it has got a fairly predictable pattern and the vertical recoil is controlled quite well the thumb grip is a decent choice for single tap firing um, especially at long distances the surprise for me was how predictable the half grip was now obviously i only fired 10 shots or there or thereabouts so for the most part you'll notice that it, it has got a high vertical recoil kick it, it generally kicks just a little bit higher than that of the vertical grip and the thumb grip the horizontal recoil is quite well controlled. Overall, the half grip is a good all-round grip for most situations. And uh, if you end up getting this for long-range shooting, I wouldn't be disappointed. I think it's genuinely a good grip. The vertical grip shows us that it has got the best vertical recoil control. The uh, maximum uh, reticle height is lower than every other grip. And also the point of reticle rest after the end of a shot is also closer to the point of origin. I talked about the light grip previously. It kicks like hell. It's got a huge vertical recoil kick. However, the recoil recovery time is much lower and you can reset your shot much quicker using the light grip. The angled grip is as you would expect. Vertical recoil not controlled as well. However, the uh, horizontal recoil is more predictable. It's, it's a decent grip for long range shooting. It's just not as good as the vertical grip. So overall, the vertical grip is probably the better grip for when you're looking at single shots at long range. So let's have a look at our conclusions. Uh, looking at spray grips, the half and the angled grips are by far the best for spray. Uh, the half grip gives you really good vertical control. The angled grip gives you good horizontal control. Horizontal control is harder to achieve, and therefore I think the angled grip remains the king of spray grips. Having a look at single tap fire, the vertical gives you good recoil control. The light grip gives you good recoil recovery and the thumb grip is like a budget vertical grip, but it is decent nonetheless. I would still recommend using the vertical grip for most situations. So the kings of the grips have not really changed. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much and uh, I hope to see you soon.